The night is young and the city pulsates with a promise that speaks directly to the primal core of man's desires. The quest for the night is simple yet profound. The search for validation, be it fleeting or long lasting, powered by the adrenaline of attraction and the allure of pleasure. The parties, festivals, bars, and clubs become arenas where men hunt for hookups, fueled by alcohol and often drugs, in a modern ritual of courtship and conquest. But as the sun rises, the intoxicating spell of the night wanes, reality dawns, and the hangover engulfs the mind and body. With it comes a feeling of emptiness, a peculiar hollowness that no amount of pleasure-seeking seems to cure. The ephemeral nature of hookups leaves many men feeling unfulfilled questioning the worth of these fleeting connections, it's in these quiet moments that the stark contrast between the highs of the night and the loneliness of the morning becomes most apparent. The cycle of chasing fleeting highs is relentless. Each night spent in the pursuit of temporary pleasure demands an investment of time, money, and emotional bandwidth. There's an economy to these exchanges, and as with any investment, one must ask, what is the true ROI? The currency of youth, energy, and vitality is spent in a marketplace where the commodities are immediate gratification, numbing social anxiety with legal and illegal vices and sensory stimulation. Yet the returns are depreciating. The initial rush of excitement becomes harder to replicate as one ages, the connections more superficial, and the costs physically, emotionally, and financially begin to mount. The resources poured into this lifestyle, the hours that could have been spent on building a career, the funds that could have been invested in personal growth, and the energy that could have been directed towards more meaningful relationships yield diminishing returns. For those who immerse themselves fully in the party and hookup culture, the question of sustainability arises. How long can one ride the wave before it inevitably breaks, leaving them to start over, chasing the next high, the next escape from reality? The toll it takes isn't just measured in the currency of the present, but in the missed opportunities, the mornings and days spent like a zombie that stunt a man's life and growth. In this cycle, a pattern emerges, one where the pursuit of immediate pleasure leads to deferred sense of emptiness, a cycle that promises much yet delivers little in the way of lasting satisfaction and fulfillment. This is the paradox of the thrill and its consequences, a seductive trap that offers the world in a night, yet often leaves one with less than they had in the morning. The true cost of this lifestyle is not just in the moments lost, but in the potential for lasting connections, future happiness and fulfillment that is overlooked in the pursuit of the ephemeral. As we navigate the complex dynamics of hookup culture and its impacts on men's lives, it's essential to consider not only what is gained in the short term, but also what is forfeited in the long term, and ultimately what really matters in this life to men. Status and superficiality, the currency of modern socializing, and the tapestry of human interaction, the threads of our social circles are interwoven with our own growth and identity. The vibrancy of nightlife and the hookup culture it fosters are often reinforced by those we surround ourselves with. The allure of these social spheres is palpable. Friends and acquaintances all converging on the promise of a night filled with possibility, adventure, and pleasure. These are the circles where stories of conquest are often celebrated, where the currency is status and sex appeal, and where status is measured by one's abilities to get laid by the most attractive woman of the night. Yet within these groups lies a subtle force that can shape behavior and influence personal development. The prioritization of instant gratification quick pleasure and swift victories in the social arena can set a precedent for one's conduct, habits, and goals. When the pursuit of short-term desires is held in higher esteem than the cultivation of long-term aspirations, personal growth is often relegated to the background. The focus shifts from developing oneself to maintaining an image that resonates with the values of the social group, where the immediacy of now eclipses the importance of values. The impact of associating with individuals and groups that prioritize the ephemeral joys of hookup culture can be profound. 
it can lead to a lifestyle that celebrates superficiality over substance, where the depth of connection is often sacrificed at the altar of immediate pleasure and status signals. In these spaces, the complex tapestry of human emotions is simplified to a binary of conquest and rejection, and the richness of relationships is distilled into a series leading moments. This environment can create a feedback loop that reinforces the transient nature of connections. The more one engages in superficial encounters, the more one becomes accustomed to the shallow waters of relationships, gradually losing the ability to navigate the profound depths of genuine connection and intimacy when they do meet someone of real interest and value. The erosion of real connections is not merely a side effect of such a lifestyle it becomes a defining characteristic of it. The bonds formed are often fragile and contingent on the next thrill, the next party, the next fleeting moment of desire fulfilled. For men immersed in this culture, the consequences extend beyond the night. The skills required for deep and meaningful relationships, empathy, vulnerability, and the ability to commit are not forged in the fleeting fires of hookup culture but in the steady warmth of sustained connections. The challenge then becomes not just about finding joy in the moment, but about building a foundation of experiences and relationships that contribute to a richer and more fulfilling narrative. As we peel back the layers of excitement and examine the framework of social dynamics that uphold the hookup culture, it becomes clear that the company one chooses is not merely a reflection of present desires, but a directive force that can shape one's trajectory of growth. In recognizing this, there lies a path to recalibrate one's social compass, one that points toward relationships and communities that uplift, support, and foster shared values beyond the ephemeral highs of hookup culture. The Lone Wolf Illusion, Seeking Connection Beyond Nightlife. If a man does not have a purpose, he distracts himself with pleasure, the Buddha. The neon glow of nightlife often casts a seductive veil over the reality of our deeper needs and desires. Society has peddled a narrative that men are impervious to the emotional voids that accompany a life lived in the shadows of hookup culture. It's a story that champions the lone wolf, the eternal bachelor, the man who needs no one but himself and his selfish pleasures. But beneath this veneer of bravado lies a truth far more complex and far more human. Men, like all people, crave connection, belonging, and the warmth of lasting intimacy. The yearning for deeper bonds is often drowned out by the drumbeat of a culture that equates masculinity with detachment and unending conquest. Yet the repercussions of this disconnect manifest in stark and harrowing ways. Loneliness, once a whisper in the clamor of crowded rooms and transient encounters, becomes a roar in the quiet moments. The health impacts of this isolation are profound. Research has shown that sustained loneliness can be as detrimental to one's health as smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. The societal fabric phrase further, evidenced by declining birth rates and the dissolution of traditional family structures. The chase for pleasure, then, is not without its cost. It's a price paid not just in the loneliness that seeps into the psyche, but also in the avoidance of deeper and more challenging emotions. Hookup culture, often an all too convenient escape hatch from the realities of pain, fear, loss, and past traumas. It promises a bomb for the soul with its quick fixes and temporary highs, but these are merely the stop goats, temporary levies against a tide of emotions that demand to be felt and acknowledged in due time. The paradox is that the very experiences we flee to in hookup culture are often the ones that leave us feeling the most empty. The transient intimacy of a night spent with a stranger can highlight the absence of deeper connections. It's a stark reminder of what's missing, the enduring support of a loved one, the comforting stability of family, the sense of purpose that comes from building something that lasts. For men caught in this cycle, the cost of pleasure becomes increasingly evident. It chips away at the soul, sapping vitality and leaving in its wake a sense of yearning for something more, something truer. 
It's in recognizing this pause that the first step towards a more fulfilling life can begin. A life where pleasure is not the end goal, but a byproduct of genuine connection, of courage, and emotional bravery. The true measure of sexual liberation, substance over superficiality. The concept of sexual liberation has long been heralded as a triumph over oppressive norms, a marker of personal freedom and autonomy. In this modern age, the narrative that equates liberation with the ability to engage with numerous partners without attachment is pervasive. However, this notion deserves scrutiny and perhaps redefinition. True liberation should not be measured solely by quantity, but by the quality of our connections and the ability to choose those that enrich our lives. Sexual empowerment is more nuanced than it's often portrayed. It's about having the agency to make choices that align with one's values and desires. And for men, this means recognizing that empowerment comes not from the notches on the bedpost, but from the ability to form high quality connections with value aligned partners that contribute positively to their lives and future. It's about shifting the focus from mere physical conquest to emotional alignment and depth of shared values and vision. A high quantity of low quality partners will lower your self-esteem your value and worth compared to one high quality partner who strengthens your self-esteem, value, and worth. For many men, the endless cycle of chasing new partners can lead to an erosion of the ability to connect authentically when one desires. The skills necessary for a deep relationship, empathy, vulnerability, commitment are not cultivated, but rather can become atrophied in hookup culture which are the very skills necessary for a high quality relationship and lasting love that actually benefits your life. Over time, this can damage self-esteem and distort personal expectations for future relationships. The result is a dissonance between the desire for real connection and the behaviors learned in the culture of casual hookups. The collateral damage of living in the fast lane of hookup culture is more than just a series of awkward mornings and forgotten names. It's the gradual doling of the human capacity for profound connection. It is about the missed opportunities for growth within ourselves and with a partner. It's about the joy that comes from knowing and being known, seeing and being seen, feeling and being felt by another, fully and deeply without reservation. As we continue to evolve and mature in our understanding of what it means to be sexually liberated, sexual empowerment should be about the strength to pursue these high quality connection and the courage to walk away from those that do not serve us. Ephemeral Encounters, the fading high of hookup addiction. In the realm of hookup culture, the ephemeral has become king. The brief rush of validation received from a new conquest or a match on a dating app can trigger the same reward circuitry in the brain that is touched by addictive substances. This pursuit of pleasure can quickly morph into a relentless addiction. Men swept up in the current of this culture may find themselves chasing the ghost of that first high only to discover that each subsequent experience diminishes in satisfaction. The societal shift towards instant gratification has only fueled this fire. In a world where everything from food delivery to streaming services panders to our desire for the immediate, the discipline of patience has become a scarce commodity in today's society. This erosion of self-restraint is palpable in the context of relationships, where the long game of building connection is often jettisoned in favor of the quick fix. However, as with any addiction, there is a cost the cost of lost time, the potential for real connection, and the profound experience that only unfolds with patience and sustained effort and commitment. The fleeting moments of pleasure in hookup culture are, by their nature, transient. They cannot hold a candle to the deep satisfaction that comes from long-term connections, the intimacy that develops through shared experiences, vulnerability, and time is irreplaceable and often essential to our well-being. In this void, there is no amount of temporary encounters that can fill it. Moreover, the role of family, both the one we are born into and the one that we create, remains a cornerstone of the human experience. 
Finley provides a sense of continuity, a narrative thread that weaves through our lives, offering a sense of belonging and acceptance unconditionally and identity and culture. In contrast, the addiction to the ephemeral leaves men adrift, lost in the sea of heels and miniskirts, unanchored to the enduring aspects of human existence that provides true meaning and fulfillment to the man. As we grapple with this addiction to fleeting pleasure, it is vital to foster the qualities that enable us to build and maintain deeper relationships. It requires a reevaluation of our values and a concerted effort to cultivate the discipline of delayed gratification. By doing so, we can break free from the cycle of addiction to the ephemeral and embrace the lasting joy that comes from genuine connection intimacy, and the rich tapestry of family life. The Hookup Paradox, placeholder love versus finding the one. The journey through hookup culture often begins with the unspoken understanding that each encounter is a placeholder until the one comes along. This paradoxical mindset, engaging in casual hookups while simultaneously holding out for a soulmate sets the stage for a cognitive dissonance that can cloud one's judgment and hinder genuine connection. It's a hedging of bets, a safeguard against loneliness, but it comes with it, its own set of complications. When the norm becomes the pursuit of the next fleeting romance, the very behaviors that are nurtured and practiced are those of impermanence and disengagement. The tools required to cultivate a lasting relationship, a deep communication, conflict resolution, and the art of compromise are left undeveloped. The paradox here is that while individuals may believe they are keeping their options open for the one by moving on quickly, they are in fact distancing themselves from the possibility of real commitment by training their mind to search for unending novelty and to look and search for reasons why this partner is not the one because you are constantly in search of new. The constant turnover of partners can create a wall, brick by brick, that eventually stands between them and the possibility of a deeper relationship when it's right in front of them. They either can't see it or they sabotage it. A consistent string of fleeting connections may unintentionally communicate to those seeking serious partnerships that commitment is not a priority for you. It's simply not on the table. Your speech, your attire, your online persona, your social group, the places you go and frequent, and the company that you surround yourself with, it all can keep uh, collectively broadcasting a hookup only message to others. This perception could deter individuals who may have been interested in you looking for something more meaningful and long-term as they might view such a lifestyle as a giant red flag for non-commitment and potentially causing them to overlook you and uh, that you might be uh, a threat to their own emotional safety and that you're going to hurt them eventually, assuming that you're simply just not ready for any level of deeper commitment when inside you really are. Within the confines of hookup culture, the development of relationship skills often takes a backseat to the immediacy of fast pleasure. Emotional intimacy requires time and effort to build and grow and to overcome the conflict. And it is often in a stark contrast to the quick fixes offered by casual encounters. Skills such as emotional attunement, consistent and thoughtful communication, and the capacity for emotional support and bravery are not honed in in an environment where the exit door is used more frequently than the entrance. Moreover, the hookup paradox can lead to a misunderstanding of what it means to be ready for the one. Readiness implies not just a willingness to find love, but also the ability to nurture it and sustain it. It requires a foundation built on more than the fleeting and the temporary. It calls for a depth of character, uh, a wellspring of emotional intelligence, uh, a commitment to growth. Confronting the hookup paradox is essential for those who ultimately desire a more meaningful and enduring romantic relationship. It requires a shift in perspective and mindset and acknowledgement 
that the skills and experiences we accrue along the way are the building blocks of our identity and the future relationships we aspire to have. Only by recognizing and addressing this can we begin to pave a more solid path toward connections that last. Beyond the night, evolving from hookup culture to personal death. Amidst the clamor of late nights and fleeting encounters lies an often ignored truth. Personal development and growth are the bedrock upon which fulfilling relationships are built. It is a truth that goes against the grain of hookup culture, which frequently prioritizes immediate satisfaction over the cultivation of self. To often mask our insecurities with vices, uh, both legal and illegal, to allow us to attain short-term flings, to attract and maintain our relationship with a partner who is both respectful and admirable and is held in high regard, one must embody those qualities in oneself, which requires a letting go of these vices, uh, both legal and illegal, that only mask and, and hide the truth of your authentic self. The version of a man who thrives in the hookup scene is often markedly different from the one who flourishes within the context of a committed relationship. The former may pride himself on superficial charms, high energy, and the ability to navigate a world of short-term pleasures. In contrast, the latter is defined by depth, stability, and the consistent capacity to show up authentically and wholeheartedly. The transformation from one to the other is not just about changing behaviors like that, but about evolving one's identity to align with their true values and vision for the future. You see, the journey of personal growth challenges men to look beyond the immediate horizon of easy gratification. It calls for a steadfast commitment to self-improvement emotionally, intellectually, even spiritually. The process of becoming a better man, one who is equipped to contribute positively to a relationship requires deep introspection, the courage to confront personal shortcomings, traumas of the past, and the perseverance to work on them, address them, to progress upon them, to not hide behind a mask, a facade through a culture. Working on oneself is a multifaceted endeavor. I get it. It involves enhancing emotional intelligence, cultivating empathy, and fostering an understanding of the give and take dynamic that is a part of healthy relationships. It's about building a life that someone else would want to become a part of. This might mean changing your physical environment, where you live, who you spend your time with, uh, how you're showing up in the world, investing in one's education, seeking professional support or even mentors who have the relationship results that, that you want, nurturing one's physical health, developing a stable career or engaging in hobbies and interests and passions that enrich your life. Each of these aspects not only adds to a man's intrinsic value, but also increases his appeal to a potential partner who is doing the same with their life. The contrast between the transient self and the self that is rooted in growth and development cannot be overstated. One is ephemeral and fleeting, ever changing within uh, the night even. The other is steadfast and is defined by a trajectory of continuous improvement that is aligned with their values. The latter is far more attractive in the long run, both to oneself and to others. One communicates safety. The other one communicates a lack of safety. The value of this personal development extends beyond the, just the romantic realm. It enhances every facet of life, from friendships to professional relationships to the relationship one has ultimately with oneself. By committing to this path of growth, men can transform not only their love lives, but their entire existence. As we navigate away from the party and into the daylight of a life that is rich with potential and purpose and alignment, we must embrace the journey of personal growth. It's a journey that leads to the best version of ourselves and by extension to the best possible partners for us, which magnifies our entire life and future. And if you have kids, then your family. So it's a profound investment that pays dividends in the currency of love, respect, and true companionship. From FOMO to JOMO, embracing the joy of missing out.
In the digital age, social media has become the grand stage where the spectacle of hookup culture is both broadcast and amplified. Scrolling through feeds brimming with images of nightlife and flings can instill a pervasive fear of missing out. FOMO. This digital phenomenon hooks deeply into the psyche, feeding the anxiety that somewhere others are living a life of unbridled pleasure and adventure that one is missing out on. Social media becomes a showcase of highlight reels, a constant bombardment of snapshots where every moment appears as an epic event, every connection, a storybook romance, even if only fleeting and unreal. Our fear of missing out should not be tied to the transient thrills of another party or fleeting hookup, but to the potential loss of the identity we must strive to build, the vision we aim to realize, and the life partner we hope to find and create a family with. The like buttons and direct messages on these platforms have become the new currency of social validation. Each notification is a hit of dopamine, a quick fix validation that says you are seen, you are desirable, yet this digital approval is fickle and often skin deep. It ties one's self-worth to something as unstable as the number of likes on a photo or the flirtatious comments in a DM. The chase for digital approval can quietly supplant authentic self-worth, where each online interaction becomes a fleeting endorsement of one's social value, steering individuals towards a persona more celebrated online than true to themselves. And what garners the most likes risks becoming their new identity. This virtual validation can be addicting, but it's no substitute for the deeper validation that comes from living a life aligned with one's values and long-term aspirations. The relentless pursuit of social media likes can distract from the hard work of building a life of substance, one that isn't measured by online popularity, but by real-world achievements and the quality of one's character. The challenge for men entrenched in this digital culture is to discern the hollow allure of social media validation from the enduring fulfillment that comes from real-world accomplishments and connections that last. It's important to take a step back and evaluate the true impact of social media on their lives. It's about refocusing on one's purpose and values, what defines you beyond the digital footprint. It's about investing in oneself, setting long-term goals that are more rewarding uh, than the ephemeral high of social media notifications by shifting the focus from short-term pleasure to long-term growth one can begin to build a life that feels authentically rewarding both during the day and at night. In stepping away from the constant need for digital validation, there lies an opportunity to foster self-worth that is self-generated and not dependent on external approval and algorithms that are not on your side. This self-worth is built through personal development by setting and achieving goals and by nurturing relationships that are grounded in mutual respect and genuine affection, not just a superficial online presence that is crafted through filters. It's about creating a legacy. This is your life, not just a social media persona to further engage in hookup culture, keeping you trapped and warped, that that is actual life. As we navigate our way through the digital noise, it's essential to remember that the most meaningful life experiences are often those that don't make it to social media. They're the personal victories, the quiet moments of reflection, the deep conversations with friends and loved ones and romantic partners. And these are the relationships and experiences that shape us. These are the experiences that build a life of, of worth far away from the fleeting validation of the online social world that lives very much in a zombie-like state. The hookup treadmill, finding the exit to a more rewarding path. The cycle of hookup culture, with its intoxicating mix of adrenaline and allure, can be as entrancing as it is relentless. It is a cycle fueled by the pursuit of immediate pleasure and validation, but one that often lacks fulfillment. To break free from its grasp, it is imperative for men to pause and critically evaluate the long-term benefits or lack thereof that this lifestyle gives them. Taking a step back from the hedonistic treadmill requires a clear-eyed assessment of what truly enriches one's life. It involves acknowledging that while the thrill of a new encounter can be exhilarating, it often comes at the expense of personal growth 
and lasting connection. This realization is the first step toward breaking the cycle. The path to a more fulfilling existence lies in planting and nurturing seeds for personal growth. These seeds, be they uh, related to your career or education, your health, your passions, your hobbies, your friendships, your family, they require effort and time and patience to cultivate. They do not provide immediate uh, gratification, the buzz of a one night stand or the fleeting high of a party or of vices. Uh, instead, they offer something far more valuable, the fruits of sustained effort and commitment to a life that is aligned with your values and vision, with who you are. The principle of delayed gratification stands in stark contrast to the instant gratification ethos of hookup culture. Delayed gratification is not about self-denial. It is about self-discipline. It is about making choices that align with one's long-term vision rather than succumbing to momentary desires. In the context of relationships, this means resisting the urge for immediate physical satisfaction to build a foundation for deeper, more meaningful connections. It is about investing time and emotional energy into relationships that have the potential to grow rather than in those that are destined to remain stagnant and fail. Delayed gratification also serves as a cornerstone for personal success beyond the realm of romantic relationships. It teaches resilience, fortifies willpower, and fosters a sense of achievement that no string of casual encounter can match. This approach builds character and shapes a man into someone who can not only attract but also keep and nourish a high quality relationship when it arrives. Breaking the cycle of hookup culture is therefore about choosing a path that may be less traveled but is infinitely more rewarding. It is about choosing growth over comfort, substance over surface, and the future over the fleeting present. It is a challenge to all men to elevate their sights, to seek fulfillment that lasts, and to build a life that reflects their highest self. It is an invitation to step into a realm of maturity where the rewards are as rich as they are hard won, a life where the journey and the destination are both sources of profound satisfaction and joy. High value partnerships, aligning relationships with life goals. In the economy of relationships, the currency is our time, energy, and emotion. And the investments we make can either depreciate or appreciate our self-worth and our life's trajectory. The pursuit of hookup culture often associated with fleeting partners, those who do not align with our deepest values and life goals, can be a costly affair, one that taxes our self-respect, breeds stagnation, and detracts from our life's purpose and the types of partners we wish to engage with. The dynamics of whom we choose to sleep with are often a mirror reflecting our self-esteem. Opting for partners solely based on immediate physical attraction or the superficial thrill of the chase without regard for deeper compatibility or shared values is akin to choosing a flashy car that just breaks down over the one that reliably gets you to your destination in life. These choices speak volumes about how we see ourselves and what we believe we deserve and are worth in this world. Men may believe that their status is elevated by the number of women they sleep with. However, if these partners are of low quality, uh, they're misaligned with their values and introduce chaos and toxicity and vices into their lives, then their choices reflect a lower status. That is a low status decision. Consequently, by choosing to engage with such partners, they adopt behaviors that attract only these types of women and position themselves as low value males in the eyes of high value women. When we engage with partners who do not resonate with who we are and who we aspire to be, or we try and force people to fit into this narrative, we inadvertently lower our standards, not just for our relationships, but for our lives as a whole. This can create a pattern that is hard to break, a cycle where each low value encounter chips away at our self-esteem, making it increasingly difficult to believe that we are worthy of high value connections and romantic partnerships. However, this cycle can be broken. It begins with a reevaluation of self-worth and an affirmation of one's values and life's mission. Seeking partners who reflect and respect these aspects of our lives is crucial. A partner of high value is someone who challenges us, grows with us, and contributes positively to our life's journey 
rather than someone who is just a passenger on our ride and leaves when things get tough in life, only to hop on the next ride with another pleasure-seeking man. Aligning with high-value partners requires us to first recognize and cultivate our own value. It demands that we invest in ourselves, develop our strengths, and address our weaknesses. It calls for us to live intentionally in a way that consistently reflects our values so that we naturally attract those who share our vision. The high cost of low-value partners is not just measured in the time wasted or the emotional turmoil often left in their wake. It's also in the missed opportunities for genuine connection, personal growth, and the chance to build a life with someone who truly complements our life's journeys. Therefore, we must strive to become high-value men who not only seek but are prepared to be with high-value partners. This is how we respect ourselves and ensure that our life's trajectory is one of upward growth profound satisfaction and mutual respect. From ephemeral encounters to enduring relationships. The allure of the hookup culture with its quick fixes and hollow victories pales in comparison to the profound satisfaction that comes from a life lived with intention, alignment, and integrity. This is a call to action for all who find themselves caught in the cycle of the ephemeral, the fleeting pleasures of instant gratification found in hookup culture. It is a rallying cry to seek peace with oneself, to build harmony with others, and to foster relationships that nourish and compound rather than deplete. We are urged to redefine what it means to be successful in love and life, not by the quantity of our sexual encounters, but by the quality of our connections and intimate partners. As you stand at the crossroads, Choose the path that leads to a life of shared values and mutual growth. Seek partners who are not just a match for the night, but a match for the journey of life. Invest in relationships that are rooted in trust, empathy, and a shared vision of the future. Embrace the pursuit of a life where success is measured not in fleeting pleasures and vices and instant gratification, but in enduring joys and where love is not just an emotion felt in the heat of the moment which is really lust, but a commitment lived out day by day. In closing, the invitation is clear. Step beyond the transient allure of hookup culture and step into a more mature life of lasting value. The rewards are immeasurable and the potential for happiness and fulfillment is boundless. The first step is yours. Now, if this resonates and you want to see what this process of creating a more fulfilling relationship looks like step by step and put an end to hookup culture, I've created a training below that will show you how to reclaim your masculine power, become a stronger grounded man, and create a high quality relationship. This is your moment. And so for instant access to this training, simply just click the link in the description. If you're ready to push the boundaries of what's possible in your life, become the man you always wanted to be. This is the fastest way to do it. Let's live in alignment to our values and vision. Let's get there, okay? I can't tell you how freeing it is to get out of hookup culture and to get into the life that you truly want. If you enjoyed this video, please support this channel by giving this video a like and subscribing so that you can receive more epic, high quality, deep diving content that helps men reclaim their power and become stronger, more grounded men. This content is needed more than ever today. Uh, do it not only for yourself, but so that this channel can grow and impact more people. We put a tremendous amount of time, effort, energy, uh, the team, uh, the resources, the money I spend to put all this together to make this uh, a really great tool to help men. Uh, it's, it's a lot of time, so uh, please, you can support the channel, like this video, subscribe to it, and uh, click the link in the description if you want to dive deeper into the work that we're doing. Until next time, guys, stay grounded.